In this video, we'll be going over which mods I use, how to download and set up my mods using Forge. First, we're going to need to download Forge. All the links will be in the description of this video. Before you download the installer, make sure you have Java on your computer. How you can check is if you just search up Java, there should be configure Java. If you already have this, you're already good to go. If not, you're going to just download Java here. <laughs> Click on download Java. After you've made sure or confirmed that you do have Java on your computer, you want to make sure that you have ran vanilla Minecraft 1.8.9 before. We're going to open the Minecraft launcher here. From there, you're going to go into installations, go into new installations. You're going to open a 1.8.9 world or not world. You're just going to launch Minecraft in 1.8.9. So you're going to see release 1.8.9. You're going to you're going to press create. And then from there, you're going to press play. After you press play, Minecraft 1.8.9 will launch. Then all you need to do is instantly just quit out of the game. After you've made sure that you have Java or you've downloaded Java and you've at least launched 1.8.9 once from your Minecraft launcher, you're ready to download Forge. You're going to click this recommended download. You're not going to click anything on this page. You're just going to wait for three seconds. And then you're just going to press skip. This will automatically download Forge. You should see a little Java icon on it, but if you don't, you can always go show in folder, right click it and open with Java. After you open it with Java, you should get this screen. If you followed all the steps and you do not get this screen, make sure to ping me in discord and I'll definitely give you a hand. From there, you're going to install the client and it should say successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.8.9 into the launcher from there you're going to open the launcher one more time this time it should automatically be set to 1.8.9 forge if it's not 1.8.9 forge here it should be in one of these selections if it's not there for some reason you can always go into installations new installations name this one forge 1.8.9 or whatever you want search up 1.8.9 and there should be a release 1.8.9 forge 1.8.9 and then the version of forge then you're just going to create then you're going to at least launch forge 1.8.9 once after your forge launches all you need to do is just close it again from here is the fun part we're going to be downloading all the mods to make it so that you can play skyblock with a lot more quality of life features first we're going to be downloading not enough updates from github this link should bring you to this page where you can just click this and download it after you download not enough updates from there you're going to go into biscuit here this is sba give it a second after 10 seconds it will automatically download Skyblock add-ons for you. Just like that, we have Skyblock add-ons. Then we're going to go to Patcher. It's going to bring you to this page. You're going to scroll down and see Patcher 1.8.2 for Minecraft 1.8.9. This is the link you want to click. It's going to download Patcher. From there, we're going to go to Skytales. Skytales is a very important mod. From there, you're going to scroll down. You're going to download Skytales 1.2.6 jar. From there, you're going to go to Scrollables. Scrollables, you just download Scrollable Tooltips 1.4 for Minecraft 1.8.9. From there, we're just going to download Optifine. Optifine, you're going to be brought to this page. You're going to click Show All Versions. You're going to scroll down until you see 1.8.9. You're going to click Mirror. And then you're going to click, click download. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hit windows key R. It's going to pop up one of these guys. You're going to run percent app data percent. It's going to open this window. This window, you're going to go into dot Minecraft. There should be a mods folder. If there isn't, that's completely fine. You can just right click, create a new folder and just name it mods. 
I'm not going to do that because I already have a mods folder. You're going to access the mods folder and you're going to drag everything that you've downloaded into this folder. So you're just going to drag them all in. If you no longer see this or if you're on Firefox or Opera GX, you can open a new instance by right clicking and pressing open a new window. This will see your recently downloaded and pretend, let's say I don't have all these guys. You're going to drag and drop all these mods into this folder. After you've installed all those mods, you are going to need to launch Minecraft 1.8.9 again in Forge. So make sure you are on 1.8.9 Forge and then just press launch. Now, once you've launched, we are once again going to quit the game. All right, the next step is you're going to hit Windows key R. You're going to go into app data. You're going to go into dot Minecraft and you're going to see a config folder made. In this config folder, you are going to see all of these except for this guy. Do not worry about that. From there, you're going to go to the link in my description of the Google Drive that's named config. Once you've clicked on that link, it will be with the shared with me in your drive. From there, you're going to right click the config.rar and just download it. It's going to scan for viruses and after a while, it is going to download. Once it downloads, you're just going to drag this config.rar file into your config file. You're going to select it first, this little box. You're going to right click it. You're going to go winrar. You're going to press extract here. From there, It'll ask you if you want to replace. You're just going to press yes to all. I'm going to press cancel because I already have my config files. Actually, just to prove to you guys that it is completely safe, I am going to extract it here and I am going to press yes to all. Once it's replaced, you can now delete this config. You will have my config for almost everything except for SBE, which I will tell you how to replace with Skytails. If you do not have the option to extract here, you do not have WinRAR. In order to download WinRAR, you just go to winrar.com here. And you're just going to press download and then press download. And it is going to download. And all you need to do is open this when it's done. Well, the instructions are right here for you. Click on the file, press yes, let it install. Make sure that you click RAR and then press done. I'm not gonna do it because I already got RAR installed. From there, you should just be able to open Minecraft 1.8.9 Forge and have all my settings that I have if you play on 1980 by 1080 resolution. If you play on a lower resolution, common in laptops, you might have to change the size of some of my, um, some of my mods. All right. Once your Minecraft has lo launched, to make sure that the config is running smoothly, you're gonna join into Hypixel and then go into Skyblock. If you see your mana bar and health bar down here, you know you've got my config correct. The other way you can tell is by typing slash st, go into locations, and if you see all this junk, you got my config. Please do not move anything without knowing what it does because it is there for a reason. If <laughs> Squid is messaging. If you ever want to change anything, here are all the commands. Slash SBA opens Skyblock add-ons. Slash NEU opens the menu for not enough updates slash patcher opens the patcher menu self-explanatory and the last one slash st opens skytails go into configs you can change anything you want you can change the locations of anything you don't like in my config that's how you install my config on hypixel skyblock yeah that's that's it thanks for watching Oh!